This is a pretty big deal for all of us. We've got more work than we can handle, so I'm trying to adapt to that. Yeah, this is a big investment. Everybody's been looking and thinking for a while, so now it's time to let them know what's up. I know you guys want to see the new building, but here's a little flashback of where we came from. My dad instilled a strong work ethic in me. He showed me what it takes to work hard and get what you want, and that's what I've done all my life. Right now, I've got one of the top shops. I've got the best crew in the world. We're moving right up. So everything here at Nichols Paint and Fab is growing like crazy. We've got a bigger staff, and now we have two buildings. So we've brought in a lot more fabrication skills, not only to speed things up, but do things at the level we need to be at. We've expanded. I've got a new body shop and paint shop, so we moved everything from this building that involved bodywork and paint down to the other one, gave us more room for fabrication. So that allows us to put more builds in here, bigger and better. We've got an awesome crew. We're stronger than ever. Dreams into reality In the lab with the formula and chemistry The memories spark and motivate And make the industry shake We put the balls in the brakes I'm talking one It's one on one shot Now the future is yours Go! So as you can see, things have changed around here. So let's run you around here. There's a couple new faces, a couple new tools, and a lot of cool stuff going on. So this is Corey. Hey guys. Corey German. Oh yeah. So we've been lifelong friends and now he's here working on cool stuff. So we all know Ziggy. He's over there working on his favorite car in the world, a Mustang. Yeah. Just finished this thing up. It's pro charge, lowered, exhaust. I mean, he's got a bunch of stuff done to it, so. Yeah, not my favorite car in the world. Mustangs usually, you know, whatever, but this one's kind of cool. We got a full new paint job, all jet black, new rims and tires, full suspension. We put the Cobra front bumper on it, Cobra wing, it's got a stereo system, new interior, and the best part's under the hood, I'll show you. We put this little guy under here. Customer wanted a little more horsepower out of this 4.6, uh, so we threw a Pro Charger on there. Really woke this thing up. Runs really good, sounds really good. It's just a fun little car to have. Just uh, doing our thing. Gotta love the new belt. Let's head to the back. This looks a little bit different back here. So this is Megan's room still. She still does all the cutouts. And she's over here. Put hose away. We've got a lot of projects here. This is our most recent one. It's a 46 Chevy. And this is Mike. He's another, well, you've been here for what? Like a year? Yeah, a little over a year. Yeah. He's a great worker. Solid metal work. So happy to have him here. So. If you look over here, there's no paint booth. There's no more paint booth. So we got rid of this thing, and I want to take you to another place where the paint booth is at. Things are great and happier than hell. All right, cool. let's head to the other shop. All right, let's go show the world our, our new place. Yeah, bigger and better things. Hey up, grow, grow, grow. Getting our creepy van. This is a cool van. Yay, creeper van. <laughs> we love it, you know it. The wonderful world of bodywork. This is Pat. The guy, everybody that's been following us for years remembers this dude. We built a 53 International quite a few years ago. We did the show circuit with it. He was a big part in that. 
He was able to come back. He's here full time. He's running this building now. So this is a 49 Jaguar. Customer came to us, wanted a nice driver. We're like, Jaguar? All right, why, why not? Something new. So we completely did, redid the chassis. New modern LS3 with the Ford L70 trans. Complete custom interior is gonna happen. Uh, Pat and Damon are gonna knock this thing out and get it straight and get an awesome paint job on it. It's gonna look really good. And it's gonna be a great driver. Oh yeah. So this is our new and improved, bigger, better paint booth, right? Yeah. You can actually see something in here. Yeah. What we did is we took our booth that was at the other shop and morphed it into what was already here. And now it's just a, it's a great semi-down draft booth and Pat's knocking some killer stuff out of here. And no, it's good lighting, good ventilation. Good daylight lighting in there too. It's got them two big windows, which most booths don't have, so yeah. pretty cool. As you can see, we've been growing like crazy and we have expanded, but it got to the point where we had to take another step forward, more like a giant leap forward. What we're doing today is we're doing the groundbreaking ceremony for the new shop. We decided to stay local. We're still in Watsika. Getting ready to uh, break some ground, get everybody under one roof. So right now we're in two different buildings, which makes uh, painting a car or moving it back and not getting any damage kind of hard. So now we'll be in one building. We don't have any worries. We just roll it through a big door. That way we don't have to worry about uh, doing some fab here and then taking it down to the paint shop and then bringing it back. We can do everything in-house now stays under one roof and under our control at all times. So today we got the whole crew out here. We got the Wasika Chamber of Commerce coming. We got some local businesses coming. They're super excited. Everybody's coming out. They're gonna be out here to support and enjoy this moment with us. It's just gonna be great for us and the city. I'm giving free haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Just excited to uh, see the new beginnings for us and uh, see where this will take us. So when this place is done, we're just gonna hit the ground running, uh, move stuff out here, get stuff done, keep making cool stuff and have fun. It got big. Gotta fight, fear, stay clear, persevere, air wigs, burn bridge, move his shake, miss till it gets big. I've been building cars for 18 years now. Every five to 10 years, we're making big steps. This is obviously the biggest step I've ever made, but with the work logs and the calls and the people wanting stuff done, uh, we just needed more room. And that was extra large. Not only are we able to be more efficient, we can take more customers in, employ more people, you know, get stuff done quicker, cleaner, and just all around a better situation for everybody involved. So this is a very stressful time. This is one of those things that you think about your whole entire life to plan and get all this stuff in order, done on time, so the next guys can come in and finish up it has been super stressful, but you know what? Things are moving forward, we're on time, and things are looking good. So FBI has put up this killer 35,000 square foot building for us. We're driving cars on the Mars tonight. We're passing up to the stars tonight. We want to go, go. We want to go, go. So building this building has given me a new appreciation for my customers. I would assume it's like a customer coming to me for a build. You know, you go through all these steps, try to make things happen, things have to be done right. Trying to get someone to understand your vision and what you want to do is pretty damn hard. In my case, I had a great project manager, Randy. I tell him what I want and he got it done. Customers, I feel you, trying to come at me with what you want, so I'm going to listen more. Over the last, I don't know how many years, customers have put faith and trust in me. That's what I've done with the builders and contractors involved with this building, and it turned out great, and can't wait to move forward. Well, here we are, we're actually moving. Stuff's coming in, trying to figure out places to put it. Yeah. 
contractors are still here. We're a little behind schedule, but we're doing good. Uh, we have a lot more room up here. Everything is turning out awesome. Talk about dreams coming true. This is, this is awesome. So we just walked out of the assembly area. Everything that comes in will be disassembled here. Uh, the metal work, everything will be done here. So it will stay in here and stay in its place until it's ready to move to the next step. Cutting tables, our mills, lathes, uh, forming, cutting, everything is here. In the corner, we're gonna set up all the tubing work, bending, cutting. I mean, every little section inside this main 100 by 100 fabrication area will have its own thing so nothing's spread out lost it's easy to find go to get it done and mold it up so walking through this 100 foot by 100 foot i hopefully will lose this gut i like mac and cheese i had mac and cheese last night gage wanted it so we had some mac and cheese grilled cheese some tomato soup i just walked it off so we're good so this is the body shop This is also 100 by 100, same size shop as the fabrication area, um, but we got some more things in here uh, that are a little bit bigger. So we went with a brand new paint booth. It's got a heater on the top. I went wider and longer so we, we can put a car in there. Hit the fenders and the hood at the same time. Got a big mixing room on the side of it. We can run a bake cycle if we want. We got a prep station over there. Um, so we can run the curtain out. All the dust and everything will go right into the filters. It won't get all over the shop. It'll keep it nice and clean. Uh, we got a trough in the middle, so if we start wet sanding, the water just go away. Each individual shop has its own bathroom. The middle one has a shower, washer, and dryer, so we can uh, we can literally live here if we wanted. We're in between our two buildings. We got 100 by 300 up here. Back here, we got an 80 by 70. So what this one's going to be back here, it was going to be storage and kind of decided I want to do absolutely everything in-house. So the right side now is going to be the upholstery shop. The other side, we're going to put the dyno over there. So that's where we're going to tune stuff and get it done. We're going to incorporate some uh, CNC machines in here to be doing our own wheels. Uh, we've got 3D printer stuff going on upstairs. We'll be able to just do whatever we want and it doesn't have to leave the building until the customer takes it. Nothing like a smell of new asphalt in the morning. So the ground's shaking, there's backup beepers everywhere. Airport paving is laying down a new parking lot today. While the asphalt's going down on the outside, things on the inside are coming together as well. We're gonna, we're gonna swing you in there, and then uh, we'll keep it away from the wall so you can still walk through there. All right. You ready? Just go really fast. So there's been a lot of big days in the last few months, but this is probably one of the biggest days. This is the truck that we built on the show for my dad. So it means the world to me.
and I will grab the jack and uh, the stands and get it up in the air. Five, six inches. That's what she said. The sides in. Sides in. Right there. This turned into more work than I wanted. I'm not sure that you've ever not said that. <laughs> <laughs> it always, it's always a problem, child. <laughs> Starting to get a bit sketchy. <laughs> Let the air out of the front and see if that'll bring it up. Get in there. And we're empty. Okay. I'm just gonna make that one match, go in a little bit further. That'll work. That's its new home. Go outside and see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Be able to see it from the road. What do you think, Megan? Yeah, looks good. Get our sign put in here. I like it. Getting exciting starting to decorate now. It feels like it's happening. Now we just need it to be done. Make money. Yep. We finally got the willies in here. This is what I've been looking forward to this whole time. So by putting this in here means that we're that much closer and it's a stamp on what we've done in the past, what we're gonna do in the future. We've got a million things to do. I don't have time to sit here and talk. I'd love to. Love you, Phil, but I gotta go. No cracks yet, huh? Yeah, no cracking. <laughs> no cracking. <laughs> At the end of the day, we're excited to be in the new space and growing as a team. And we're excited to build the cars cleaner, faster, and better for all of you to enjoy. The best is yet to come.